Hello and welcome back. This is episode 8, I believe. Uh, as you can see, I finished up last time saying that I would make some clothing out of the stuff I found in Bleak Falls Barrow and use that to make money and use the money to buy clothing. So that's what I did, unfortunately, uh, because I still have no soul gems. I cannot enchant my new clothing with the magic regeneration that was on my robes. However, I do still have the satchel right here, which gives me the 100%. Uh, I did also create a hood, which does not have the 30 magicka bonus from my previous hood. And I have this operator mask, which is unenchanted, but took the same slot as the pockets uh, pouch on this side of my character, which gave me the 25 carry capacity increase. So while those two are purely, uh, they're purely for show right now, they do fit in with kind of what I want the character to be. I got all of that over here at the Divine Elegance store. And then I also got from Alathar's, mag Alathar's magic shop here, I picked something up to help with that enchanting issue. I got a spell book of Soul Cloak. This is like a flame cloak or a frost cloak or a shock cloak where it affects enemies nearby. Um, and if I kill anyone who's basically within or a little outside of melee range for 149 seconds, it will automatically fill a soul gem with them. Now, I did want to mention before I memorized this spell, I figured out what was wrong with Tomes of Power. That's the one where you can only read three books before you get a permanent debuff. And it's because you have to configure it in the MCM menu beforehand. So you come down to Tomes of Power, you go to Main Menu, and these three are unchecked by default. So you don't have the Read Spell Tome animation, you don't increase your magic power on using them, and you don't have the Study System. The Study System is what limits you to three spell books per buff, or else you have studied too hard and lost the benefits of studying with a permanent debuff. So to show you what that looks like, I will learn this Soul Cloak spell, which pulls me out of the menu, adds this little reading spell tome animation. If you install the mod, you have to run Four's New Idols in Skyrim before you launch Skyrim in order to have this animation work. But then once you launch your, uh, once you start your game or launch your game, then you can go into the MCM menu and enable those three checkbooks in order to stop the animation. You can jump or you can bring out or uh, yeah you can draw your weapons if you draw your weapons it also cancels the animation those are the only ways to cancel the animation is to jump or draw your weapons so the next thing i need to do because i have a number of mods that require becoming the dragonborn not just getting your shouts and being acknowledged as dragonborn but going to high rothgar being acknowledged as dragonborn then coming up here to ustengrav getting the horn of jurgen windcaller which will of course involve coming back to Riverwood and then going over somewhere here, I think. Uh, I think somewhere in that area. And helping recover or kill a dragon. Once you do that, you come back here, you get the horn, and then you can finish High Rothgar. I may have that a little bit out of order. It's been a while since I did that quest. She may just give you the horn and ask you to go kill the dragon. Um, but you at least have to bring the horn back to High Rothgar, and then you become the Dragonborn, which unlocks a number of other quest mods that I have installed. I have two ways to get there. One is Vulcan Estate to Ivarstead and then up the mountain. The other one is Shellblad Castle and then out the back up the mountain. Either way is dangerous. There are enemies on the path. Uh, I went through Ivarstead last time took the little zigzag here and pretty much as soon as i reached the snow i got one shotted by a saber cat of some sort so i'm gonna go through volgana state volgana state is uh it's a player home it does not have a quest to acquire it but you walk inside the back door there's a guy who wants to sell it and then if you purchase it from him there is someone in ivarstead that will do the upgrades for you I don't have enough money to buy the house, so I'm not going to bother going inside. But it's in a nice location. It's a nice looking house. I mean, this is what it looks like from the outside. So, it's got that. It's got this uh, 
area over here with water and plants and stuff like that. It's not a bad player home. I just have no clue where I got it. I don't think I have a mod for it installed. I think the way I got it is back in original Skyrim when I was also heavily modded. I had it as a plugin and then Skyrim, uh, Skyrim got updated. I didn't know how to roll back the update and so I was unable to keep playing so I just stopped playing for a while. Oh, looks like I am in combat with a troll. In that case, Flame Touch, I looked it up, Flame Touch and Blue Firebolt have the same amount of damage and they do, uh, I'm gonna switch that, I'm gonna put Blue Firebolt on this one. Um, Flame Touch and Blue Firebolt do the same amount of damage, cost the same amount of magicka, but Blue Firebolt does extra damage to creatures that are already on fire. So if I can hit them with Flame Touch or Flames, then hit them with Blue Firebolt, they will take extra damage. But the other, uh, the other order doesn't make a difference. Oh, jeez. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> Thankfully, it will not take uh, much to recover that. I just have the uh, autosave from traveling to Volgan Estate. I can come in with my fire spells equipped, which helps. You know what? I didn't know that history of Mana Marco. Uh, I remember him all the way back from Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall. I love that game. Unfortunately, it ran on the Sound Blaster. If anyone who has any ties whatsoever to Bethesda it watches this video, please, please, update the sound requirement of that game release it on steam you would sell enough copies to make it worthwhile the rest of the game worked just fine through dosbox but you could not emulate the sound blaster and so it was mute fix the sound issue fix the frame rate issue because that was back when computers were slow enough that you didn't have to use an emulator to slow down the system uh, but if someone who knows someone in Bethesda, Bethesda, can let them know, please re-release Daggerfall. That game was amazing. If you re-release Daggerfall as a game within a game, I mean, the whole thing fit on a, D a DVD, and not, I don't even think DVDs existed then. I think it fit entirely on a CD-ROM. The game was amazing. So, you know. Do all of us longtime fans a favor and re-release Daggerfall. Please. Love you forever. Uh, at least if it doesn't come out completely broken like some of the recent uh, stuff that requires public patches. If you're going to re release it like that, also uh, make it easy for the modding community to, you know, fix that. That would be, you know, step two. Uh, save. Uh-huh. I see him over there. And... He doesn't know where I am. Oh, now he does. Step out of the wall there. So you're just gonna... Ah, there we go. So how come it knows where I am, but it is not coming anywhere near me? It already regenerated fully. Alright, in this case, I think I'm going to put Blue Firebolt on both. Not that I have the ability to dual cast, but it gives me the ability to throw out two of these. Quit running! They're probably going to kill me anyways. TK Dodge did not take effect there. So, I have an elk. Yes, I hear the uh, Nernrit. Quite a shrill thing there. Let's see. Um, heavy armor increase. Nice. That actually looks like a nice book. Uh, don't need that. Three for 250. That is nice. Two for 10 is... Eh. That's a, eh, no quest, 
uh, but I'll take it and six for 65 good mm, oh there's another one so uh, no no six for 65 is good two for 35 is good and I'm about to get to Iverset so I can just sell them there I will replace one of my blue fire bolts with long stride because there's no reason not to use it any chance you have to get goat horns take it because otherwise you're going to have a player home and it's going to take you weeks to upgrade it because you don't have enough goat horns third person shooting Ugh. like if it wasn't so ugly playing from first person most of the time I would just just play and do all my fighting from third person but why does it have to be such a pain <laughs> oh shush mercenaries interesting thing uh, these message boards that one and this one over here this one on the post you get quests from and if you talk to mercenaries they will invite you along on their quests so like if I look on this there's a dragon bounty on here and if I read it I can just get it this is from Layla Lawgiver in the Rift so I just got a dragon bounty from the Rift without having to go to the Rift and talk to her house Carl or assistant I can do the same thing with bandit leader bounties, giant bounties, forsworn leader bounties. Um, this one will put a place on your map. So my map's updated. Have you ever visited Trellis's cottage? I've heard of it, but don't have the time to see it myself. Uh, rescue citizens, get gear, kill monsters. So they're actually pretty cool. Um, this one here will just tell you a little bit like flower thief. There's someone in Iverset who continues to steal my flowers near the window. Whoever you are, I hope Stendar has no mercy for your flower-stealing soul. If I ever catch you doing that again, I will make sure the guards make you rot in prison. Nerfy. So, it's not me, because this is my first time here. But, uh, if you go to Narfi's place, I bet you will find a flower, uh, flower box on the windowsill, wherever that is. It's almost nighttime, but that's kind of irrelevant where I'm going, what I'm doing. Uh, Iverset does not have anywhere to sell. All that thumping, if you heard it come through the microphone, was my dog pushing his way in the uh, door. That is not a goat, that is a weed. Uh, this is Kind's Fire. You cannot, like, I could probably activate it, but you can't actually do anything with it. Oh, that is a bear. Let's put flame touch on the left hand. Come on, zoom in. Oop. Ooh. Okay. That hurt. Uh, recover that. Uh, but as I was saying, Kind's fire is something that you can't turn in until you become the dragonborn so you have to actually get the uh, you have to actually get the horn of Jurgen Windcaller and bring it to the uh, graybeards and once they make you officially the dragonborn then you can carry Kynes fire up to high Rothgar So I'm going to save now that the bear is dead because it was on this path that I got killed by the cat. I could stay away from it. Uh, you may notice my magicka is not going down and oh, oh. that's because I did get, I don't know whether it was in the end of the previous video when I got all those level ups uh, or if it was after that video when I was casting illusion spells in order to get cheaper costs on this on these uh, clothing I got the increase in alteration that makes novice spells 100% mana free and this is not a novice spell I believe it's an apprentice spell so it, it still costs me like 25 magicka to use a little bit of an underhand softball pitch there on my blue fireball. 
So the nice thing is, uh, it's, it is, even though it's free, it is skilling up my alteration. As you may have seen when I first got onto this path, I got an alteration increase just for running along with it active. But while I am channeling it, I don't regenerate the magic used by my fire bolts. So it was up here on top of this hill that I encountered the saber cat and it just slapped me in the face with its claws and that was the end of my story. Oh, ice wraith. I am not a fan of ice wraiths with range spells. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Huh. Okay, it died up there. <laughs> Where? There we go. I'm gonna save again because thankfully that was a lot nicer for me to fight than the saber cat was. But who knows what I could get next time? Uh, looks like. Don't tell me that's it. Please don't tell me that's it. If that is it, I might just run. Okay, that's a wolf. It's a nice wolf. Ah, oh, F9. There's so many enemies on this path. It's another reason why I'm not bringing the uh, bringing Kind's fire with me. Because if I tried to bring Kind's fire with me while I was taking this path and dealing with all these animals, I would not stand a chance of making it there in time. God, I, I need the... Uh, what is that? Rift Bolt, I think I said in like the fourth episode when I had the staff that would teleport enemies back. But it's expensive, and uh, the Warrior's Flame touches me. Which is great, except it doesn't heal me. Now, put that back on long stride. I think because of the number of enemies I'm facing, I'm just going to run up to High Rothgar in first person view because that uh, should save me significantly more time than going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between first and third person view. Every time I run into another critter, I guarantee you I will fight a troll on this path, possibly a saber cat of some sort. And once you get to a certain point, um, that's where you run into Shellblade Castle. Shellblade Castle actually comes out right on this path. And that's where it climbs up from the pass down below. Urgh. Some of these don't let you step up. And there is the entrance to it, right there. And so you can walk out the entrance onto the path, heading straight towards High Rothgar. Really great place to be if you are working as a Dragonborn. And it is an amazing castle. Like, oh my god. There is a spell in there that I would like to get once I oop, have the money to do so. Yeah, just stay up there and let me shoot you, please. No. No regeneration. You bastard. This troll is definitely tougher than the one I fought uh, down on the the river bed or shore. Okay, and I'm overweight, but I have not used ease burden yet. And so that should allow me to move. Yep. And now I can use long stride, and that's going to give me another 75 carrying capacity. And that should have been the last or second to last enemy on this trip. Which means I will be getting to High Rothgar right around the 20 minute mark for this video. No thanks to dying a few times and uh, proving that I was built for strategy, not for combat. And at this point, I lack the ability to enforce a strategy because I just don't have enough magicka and enough spells and good enough gear at my disposal to say, if I do these things and then use this combination of spells, I will for sure 
be able to complete the uh, complete the encounter in front of me. What I probably should have done was activated Soul Cloak going into those battles, so that I would have at least gotten Soul Gems. Restore stamina? Yeah, sure. Dragon's Tongue, I will take those. Uh, empty chest? Boo-hoo. I've made it to High Rothgar. It is 20 minutes and 33 seconds into the video. So, rather than go forward and go through the whole uh, Dragonborn talking to... I don't know what it is. I have a mod, and it is causing these... Uh... No, not that one. This one. Those things. It's causing them to fly around whenever I come into this room. So, thank you for watching. Uh, I... I need to scale up my, my destruction more, so I will have to do that probably in Ustengrav once I'm going in there to get the horn. And of course I'm going to spend more time running around increasing my alteration and my conjuration. Conjuration has got to go up. Just before I end this video, I'm going to demonstrate why I said long ago that the Soul Scry spell is so good for conjuration. I think I favorited it. Uh, yes. Because all you have to do with Soul Scry is hold it. Look how fast my magic it drains. And I had like zero in Conjuration for the level. So one round of that, my Conjuration is 75% increased just from one round of my uh, Magicka bar. So if you have your conjuration cost reduced, it takes a lot less than that. It's also, uh, if I'm correct, go to conjuration, it is an apprentice spell, 26 per second, which means if I can get my, uh, if I can get my alteration skill up to, I think it's 80, yeah, 80, novice spells cost 100% less to cast, but on rank 2, Apprentice Spells cost 100% less to cast, which means the speed of that one, I can hold it perpetually. And just, uh, <laughs> just to show another little glitch that I have found, I will cast Mage's Focus while my magic is high so that it regenerates faster, but I will show you a little something about the sustain spells. So if you don't have the ability to make it free, by the way, if you have one of these master spells, with the exception of... Uh, well, there's a couple of exceptions, but Mage's Focus, you can deselect and it'll put you back on your previous spells, previous equipment. So if you drain your Magicka all the way, there's my Conjuration Increase, and then you double-click it. You have to get it just the right point. If you catch it right when you run out, then you're able to keep the spell going. At least I was able to on a previous character with these same mods. So, it doesn't seem to be working this time around, but uh, I don't know why it worked last time. Maybe it was that I had it in the left hand? Or the right hand? No? Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, oh. <laughs> Let's, uh... Both of them. Yeah, I, uh cannot replicate that little bug that I had happen. But on a previous character, I somehow caught it right when the Magicka hit zero, and it kept the spell going, and every time I tried it, it continued to operate. So, you might be able to get it to work, but apparently I can't. Maybe it's because Mage's focus is on regenerating too fast. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's not working. But 
As you can see, I've gotten two skill ups for Conjuration already. Mage's Focus helps me regenerate fast enough that it's almost no wait to get my uh, Magicka Bar back to full. And then I just double cast it. Drains really fast back down. There's another Conjuration increase. It's up to 30. So just standing near people with this Soul Scry spell will allow you to get your Conjuration skill up so fast that a Conjuration character such as this one will be able to improve their power, their duration, the health of their creatures so quickly by casting this spell uh, in concordance with the Mage's Focus. Or if you get your alteration up to 80 and make this spell free to cast, and you just run around casting it for free, period. Which uh, I will be really upset with myself if I was so tired that I didn't realize I had this spell free and I was using something else to run myself out of Magicka because if you cast a sustained spell when you're trying to regenerate, it doesn't regenerate, even if it's free. So, Conjuration 32. Uh, Magicka, duh. But, not destruction, you wonky keyboard. Conjuration Mastery is one of two. Up that to 202. What is racking? 40, got it. So now that it's even cheaper, Dual casting is now that slow. And you can skill up probably once in a bar. Wouldn't surprise me. Oh, not quite. <laughs> but darn near. Yep. Not going to be able to replicate that. But, uh,. Next time, I will go through the, uh, I don't know, induction as a Dragonborn. Yeah, I'll go through the little ceremony they have here. Go to Ustengrav. Hopefully, I will be able to clear Ustengrav in one run. If not, I might have to make that a two-parter. But uh, I will try to be back here officially as a Dragonborn within two episodes. So, hope you've enjoyed the videos so far. If I am able to replicate that glitch at some point, I will make sure, even if it's just a 15-20 second video, that I capture it regardless of what character it's on. Uh, but keep watching. Let me know if there's anything that you liked, disliked, uh, any feedback you have, questions. I probably won't answer very quickly, but it's not like I have thousands of people to answer at this moment, so let me know and catch you around in the next one.